Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have an interesting equation with factorial. So on the first side, this equation is real hard because we have so many factorials, but take a look. This two factorial is a product from one to two. So one times two. This is a product from one times two times three. This is a product from one times two times three times four. And the next one times two times three, four, five. So this is a product from 1 to 5. And take a look, we can find our common denominator. As, as you can see, our common denominator, denominator will be this product. So moreover, common den denominator will be our 5 factorial. So let's write our common denominator. So 5 factorial. What we'll have in this 1 over 2 factorial? We'll have our product 3, 4, 5. So writing 3 times 4 times 5. What we'll have right here? We have only our 4 times 5, so plus 4 times 5. What we'll have right here? Only our 5, plus 5. And the last one, plus 1, because we don't need any more any numbers, plus 1, equal to 1 over x. So we can add all of these, because this is not a huge number, so as a result we will have that this will be equal to, let's simplify our denominator. So we'll have 3 times 4, 12 times 5, 60. So we'll have 60 plus 4 times 5, 20 and plus 6. All over 5 factorial equal to 1 over x. So just simplifying our denominator. We can add all of these. We will have the final equation. We will have 86 over 5 factorial equal to 1 over x. Classic case, because it's really good moment to use a cross multiplying, so as a result we will have that our x equal to 5 factorial in our denominator all over 86. And let's simplify this, we can write this 86 as 2 times 43, 2 times 43, and this 5 factorial as a product, so 1 times 2 times 3, for 5. This 43 is not a good number because we cannot cancel all of this number with any one of these, but we can cancel this 2 and this 1 over 2. So in the end we will have 3 times 4 times 5, which will be equal to 60, and our denominator 43. So this is our answer, we cannot simplify this anymore because this is 43 is not good good number, so we cannot factor this number, but we find our solution. Our x will be equal to 60 over 43. And this is our answer. If you have any question, if you have any suggestion, maybe you have faster method how to solve this, write a suggestion in the comment, write a question in the comment. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.